Hello people, my name is Angela Bamford, TV host and entrepreneur and I know you don't see my face often on this channel but for today and today only I am here for two very special people, Ignis Hegosmith and the beautiful industrious and CEO of Hair Centre, Gwen Ado. Please put your hands together, those in here, <laughs> put your hands together you. for the amazing Gwen Ado. Gwen, thank you so welcome. much. Thank you so much, Angie. Why you be? Oh, why you? You've <laughs> done, you. Gwen. I mean, you're you're my big sister. Um, I know you from AIS, Akosu yes. International School. Um, your yourself and even Nadia as well. Um, Hair Center has really made a mark and continues yeah. to make a mark. Let's talk about Hips Africa. Why? For those who don't know, first of all, what is a beauty trade show? Okay, so Hips Africa is basically the Hair Center International Beauty and trade show so essentially what that um, what that does is that it brings together all the stakeholders in the beauty industry be it in makeup hair um in even in hair that you know different units of it so hair extensions the salon care hair growth products to help the hair to grow and then the spas and all of that so anyone that falls into the scope of beauty is a part of this trade show and now the trade show is not you know usually when you go to fairs um it's simply about showing up and then selling okay so it's about how much should i sell but at the trade show you're there to exhibit who you are let us know who you are because a lot of times we get very comfortable when we're in our own spaces and we think we're already known but in fact when you go to some of these shows you're able to connect with people that are in the same industry as you and even get to learn things that you didn't know about because it was not shown to you on social media so at the trade show you get this exposure and you also get to network and learn new things mm. and that is why hips africa is essential in the Ghanaian beauty market in fact the african beauty market absolutely now you've been doing this for two years you've done it two years prior this year is the third edition yes and you've dubbed it the gold edition okay tell us what the gold edition means okay so the first hips africa um took off 2019 and i remember on stage together with the creative director nadia we said to everyone and you we said to everyone see you next year little did we know that covid was around the corner mm -hmm. and you know being very aware of the effects of covid 19 we said to ourselves you know what the trade shows are important but our health is more important and so we had to break for about since 2019, we didn't do it again till 2022, which was our second edition. And so the third, dubbed the gold edition, is, is essentially to outdoor um, the consistency of Hips Africa. Because like I always say, a lot of times we start shows and then it becomes a one-off. Right. So we, we felt, you know what, if we're able to do this consistently for a, at least the second or third time, then it's gold it's luxury it's something that should inspire us to stay consistent so the consistency is what has made us call this edition gold you know i, I really admire the way you think the way your brain works is yeah. is something else um now let's talk about the face of hair center the pageant yes um i was speaking with you earlier and you did mention people may be wondering why a pageant in a trade beauty show so why the face of hair center Angie, it's very interesting that you ask me that. You know, I've never been this confident person that today everyone experiences. Earlier on, I was very timid, I was shy, and I never really even believed in myself, even when people complimented me. And I remember taking part in a pageant where everybody hailed me, but I failed because I did not believe in myself. I didn't think I deserved it. And that was an eye opener for me. So essentially why the hair center, which is primarily a hair extensions company, does this is to project young women. Okay, there are so many beautiful women who are not confident. They don't believe in themselves. So it's not about showing hair extensions or, you know, bringing up ladies and making them wear hair. There's a, there's a deeper meaning to this. This is too, because we take you through a lot. We take you, we place you on groups, we discuss things with you, 
we we have one-on-ones with you so it's intense you're mm. able to sort of experience what it's like number one to be a female entrepreneur and you're also able to um sort of get an up close experience with me where i'm able to share my stories with you and you can have the hope that no matter how timid you are now there's a possibility for you because god did not create timidity he created us in his image and that image ought to be confident and so i'm hoping that the hair um hair center face of the year nominees delegates get to be inspired by this journey even if they don't do not win that confidence is essential ah uh. I don't think anyone could have said it better. <laughs> Thank I you. I don't think anyone could have said it better. What are some of the activities marking the the pageant? As you know, the Hair Center Face of the Year is going to take place at Hips Africa, where we're going to have a lot of competitions. Okay, and so um, Face of the Year will be on stage three times. The first will be the talent show, that is on day one, September first. Then September 2nd there's going to be a Q&A session because we want to know your why. Why do you want to do this? What is inspiring your action? And then on the last day we're going to, you know, experience these ladies and their gowns and their beauty and all their glory and of course crown the winner. The winner. Yes. Now, so what does the winner start to take home come 3rd September? Okay. So the first thing that I want the winner to know is that you're taking away confidence. That is essential. Absolutely. That is bigger than any amount of money because confidence Absolutely. is going to open doors for you. Absolutely. They are taking away hope. The hope that they can be more than they are. And of course, you're taking away the material things that we're used to, which is 10,000 CDs in cash and then 10,000 worth of um, hair extensions from the hair center. They also get to be brand ambassadors for the entire year, which means they are going to be featured in our adverts and our promotions here in Ghana and in the US. Wow. And so, I mean, it, it, it's huge. Yeah. And we also get to have products from our sponsors like Evita Joseph. We have um, services from fulfilled aesthetics we have oh my goodness like this huge cartons of products from gokuls and who am i even missing hey, at this point <laughs> it looks like me myself i have to partake <laughs> when yeah. is it too late <laughs> is this not too late <laughs> is it too, i mean we've done her center <laughs> water, you know but uh, yes i know i have to i have to i have to chip that in nice yes Lovely. i have to chip that in well then ladies May the yeah. best win. May the <laughs> best win. So my final question for you. Yeah. You are an entrepreneur through and through. For the young entrepreneurs out there struggling to, to make sense of it all, especially in the current economic situation that we face as a country, what kind words or words of wisdom do you have for them? Integrity. Mm. Integrity is very essential. We all know the crisis that we are facing in the economy right now. But I think if we let greed lead the way, we're all going to struggle a lot. Mm. Okay. So we need to be honest businessmen and women. If 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 you're pricing, okay, you need to ask yourself this that I've pegged at this price. If I calculate my overheads and the cost of that product, is it really, you know, the price I should be pegging mm -hmm. it at or it's my way to make a quick buck? Mm -hmm. We also have a we need to also have a mindset a mindset that um that makes us um, have that long-term vision. Okay, we're very short-minded and we're always looking for a quick fix. And so we start a business today and then we're expecting that um, a year from now the business should pick up. When I started the hair center, nobody was coming. It took me five years, okay, wow. before I realized this was a business I was going to pursue or not. So I'm urging the young people to understand that it is a journey. Okay, and mm. the success is going to come from the experience which you're going to leverage on to build something that actually lasts. And we should also have a mindset of consistency. Mm. Today, everybody, you know, can go to Register General and start a business. But the question I want to ask is how many of these businesses are we able to sustain? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How many of them are we so passionate about? And so the economic crisis hits us and the next thing we want to do is to close shop yeah. because we're not passionate about it. We're copying somebody, but we enter the business and realize that, oh my goodness, mm -hmm. this needs resilience. And so I, I hope these are things that guide anyone that's listening to me today. And we're all learning. 
yeah. you know. And I mean, you, you do it on a daily basis in your, on your Instagram page. I, for one, learn a lot. You Thank be, you. I don't say it, but <laughs> I learn a lot. Um, I will never forget uh, one of the things that really changed my mind about money yeah. was a book you gifted me maybe five years ago. A oh book in a bag. I don't know if you remember. <laughs> it was a book in a bag. bag. Yes. yes. Um, and you gifted that to me, I think, five years ago. And, and it's, it changed my perception completely when it comes to money. Because mm-hmm. I think very often we we are taught, okay, one plus one is two. We are taught about uh, how to, to label a grasshopper, the part of a grasshopper. But learning about money is not something that we are taught, even though it's, we should be. Yeah. Then we go out into the world and realize that your bills, bills, bills. Yes, and yes. that book really, really changed thank my perception. So thank you. If thank you. All, thank you. Thank you. Angie, let me add this. Um, for those of you who don't know that I know Angie, Angie, oh. I'm so proud of you, honestly. Okay. Um, you. I was very proud when I saw that you had started your business. Thank you. And it's difficult. But... You know, I just love the fact that you're, you've are you exerted everything in you to make that business work. But more importantly, I love you for your humility. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, um, you see a lot of women that are beautiful. They are gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, you have it all. But I see the God in you. I see the humility in you. And that, that is what is so beautiful. Like today, you did not have to be here. Yeah. But you said, I am going to show up for Agnes. I'm going to show up for Gwen. I'm going to show up because I want to. And I want to help out. And I'm urging people to look at you and understand that, you know, beauty fades, but character remains. And so let's build our character more than we build what others see physically. I mean, she's written so books, so, you. you know, I don't, thank you. God bless you too. Bless she's written you. books, so please check them out. I was going to say you should write a book, but yeah. <laughs> she has books out there. Please check it out. Thank you. But I'm going out with, thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So the Hibs Africa comes on 1st of September to the 3rd of September at the Grand Arena Conference Center. So please pass through, grab your tickets, come and support your brand. My brand will be the next year. We are still mm-hmm. young, so I decided that okay, I'll set it out this year. Oh. But next year, maybe the platinum edition. Yes, I'll be yes. There. <laughs> well, I'll be there. So. She knows it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. God bless through. you, Angie. Amen. Amen. All right. All the best to the girls. Thank May you. the best yes. one win. Bye. Bye. <laughs>